Hello everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today what I'd like to do is some quarrying in the nether. And let's first of all go downstairs and make some tools that I would like to use in the nether. My jetpack. I will need to make sure I have fully charged jetpack when I'm there because I intend to use the mining laser. But also I'd like to use um let's have a look. what would I like to make? I would like to have a mining turtle. Trouble with a mining turtle, let's start with turtle. As they tend to explode um, in the nether. So what we need is one turtle, which is made from one computer, which is made from one gas plane, eight pieces of wood and one redstone. Let's make one of those. I've already got one in my inventory here, but that's not a problem. And one gas plane. So with it there, let's go back again. Let's make the turtle. So what we need is now the turtle, which is simply one chest, one computer, some iron, seven ingots of iron, and then we have a turtle. In fact, I actually would like to make a second turtle, so let's just do that quickly. No real reason, except I've got another computer. Right, so now I have two turtles. One of those I shall convert into a, a mining turtle, which is simply done with a, a diamond pickaxe and a turtle. I can also put on it a wireless. And then you get a wireless mining turtle. The difference is you can control this from afar. And here I've also got a wireless, a wireless melee turtle, which I actually don't need. In fact, it won't help me very much. And one turtle. What I can also do is to make some more wireless uh, adapters. Let's have a look at the wireless. Um, so we want a wireless turtle, which is made from one ender eye pearl surrounded by stone. Let's make two of those. In fact, it's better to have the stone on me, isn't it? So we can now make this while of turtle. So I now have three turtles. The only one that really wants is the mining turtle, so let's just Let's just do that. Let's put those away somewhere safe for another time. What I'm also going to do is to make some linked books. So the first thing we need to do is to get some um, ink vial. What we need for that is one water and some ink. Let's take one of these. And the easiest way to fill up a bottle with water is like this. Just take the bottle and hit it against the tank. Now it's full. So what then we can do is we can make some ink vials, which is just ink sacks or some form of ink black dye and then an ink vial and the water, sorry, and then you get an ink dye. Just right click and get it. And these stack, well, unlike the water, they don't stack. And what we can do with the ink dye is to make a book, but not an ordinary book, an, a link, unlinked book. So first of all, we come over here to this device, which is called the ink mixer. And what we do is put the ink in one side and paper in below it. And then we take out these link pa panel pages here. And what you can do with those, have four. You can then craft those with a piece of leather And produce some unlinked books and then you can what you can do with the unlinked books is you can link them to a location so let's just take one of those out of there and link that to a location let's say we go back to the workshop and just link that somewhere near the uh, the crafting table and all you have to do let's put these away too I don't need these with me 
flip those and it's just here. I should have put them in the in the table and I don't need the leather either, let's put that in there. So all you do is you come to a place, let's say here, get the book and right click it. Then it goes green and says it's a linked book. And here you are, we've all, the reason I've done that here, overworld, is you, there are one there are one uses thing, but just in case I get stuck in another, it, I can I can simply use that and can transport myself back to where I am now. So that's for basically all I really want, but I think I have everything I need. So let's go to the Nether. Wait a few seconds to go through the portal. Uh, somewhere over here I should have a, another portal, hard to see I reckon. It should be over here, oops, no it didn't work. Let's do the other hard way. The quarry's over here. plenty of creatures in the nether today. Oh, what are these? I haven't seen these before. Let's have a look. Number nine. Oh, they also die reasonably easy. Sound a bit like a blaze or a blitz, but white and black I don't think they are. We missed him. That's a bad mistake. This is going to take the sword, but she's here. Okay. There we have a wisp, which will switch him out as well. He doesn't attack me, that's it. He doesn't attack me, that's it. Oop, missed him. Now, what else did we see there? Another spider? pick up. Oh! Basalt rod. That's new. Not seen that before. Right. Back to the quarry. The quarry should now be visible on my... What I didn't do is to move the marker which was a bit after me. Oh, another one. Where's that gone to? It's hiding here, that's it. Yeah, indeed. So, my mistake was I created a new. What I want to do now is to create a new quarry over here. And we shall go down in the direction of. as we've been carrying on. Ah, a ghast. I haven't heard one of those for a while. Was it a ghast? Right. Actually, let's just eat a bit because my. Oops. There he is, look. Number nine control. Actually, he's not being very good there. And he also dies quite easily. Now what I'm going to do is follow him down, turn off my jetpack, turn it on again, and go and see what we get. We should probably find a couple of tears. Ah, oh, there they are, look. I'm plenty of XP, and I also have to watch out for those. Oh, what have we got over here? That was a, a bat. I also have something else I've not seen before. It's a water spring, I think. A water spring. Don't know what you do with that. Right, back to the quarry. And what I'm going to do, if I find the quarry again, is 
to move the point it should be oh look there's a, a blaze over here yellow and save that and I'll do control B and remove the other one which is 58 meters away now I'm going to do this to, uh, here as I've set up a landmark and got it right this time and what I would like to do with the landmark here if I have got some redstone torches I need four is to go across as far as it goes and I've already done this as well put down a second landmark and the idea is that's going to be the size of the quarry in the width direction oh, look look what I've got over there I have magnet cream and you get four smaller, medium-sized magnet creams. There's a baby zombie. Oops, that's a dead magnet cream. Oh, another ghast. And you can hear these bumping away nicely. Oh, look. We'll just avoid those. Actually, what I can do... Sword on and start wicking some of this stuff over there. Because it won't be working hard. Two magnet creams. Oh, that's a few bits and pieces. Right, back to the mining. I'm not getting distracted with things to go and fight. Here we are. What I'm going to do, I'll start on this corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, the mining laser. What I have to be careful with here are silverfish, they're a pain. Not silverfish, they're called hellfish. In another. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get the mining laser. I think I'll do use this one. No, I'll do it on the other side. Yes, that'll do. Let's put the mining laser here. And then I'm going to press M and right click until I get long range. Which is exactly what I want. And then I'm just going to point it down the direction I want to go. And what you'll find you'll go round about 64 blocks now down a bit what happens is is it will get a few hellfish as well let's go to my clip mining ammo oh, I need a spade for that what have I got in here? Let's use this one. My excavator. Back to the hammer. What, did, what happens here with the hammer is that it goes used, gets used up quite fast. And what we're trying to do here is to go down enough blocks to find out where the end of the thing, uh, the tunnel is. And one of the problems of using the mining, mining laser is that it, things blow up. Now the advantage of the silk touch tools is things don't blow up when you hit them in the nether, which is, helps a lot. Now you saw things bouncing around, that's because I'm full. 
Yeah, oh, no, I'm not full. Just that I'm out of range at the moment. I'll be able to be behind something. You, but you do get full very fast in another. How far have we got to go? Have we already reached the end? Maybe not. so much soil sand just concentrating a little bit there's quite a lot of uh, things to remove here Soul sand, plenty of soul sand there, plenty of netherite. Let's get rid of those. And I've even got some nether gold ore. And while I'm at it, I should get rid of these as well. Try again. I certainly don't need those with me. Alright. Anything else there? No, that looks good. See what's happened here, things have exploded. And it's usually sulfur oil that explodes. With the mic with the with the soft touch hammers they don't explode at all much. Doesn't even go fizz. Silk touch, soft touch. And we'll have to get that right eventually. Now we've reached the end, great. Took a bit of effort, but we found it in the end. So, now let's go and put on to this point here another landmark. the distance we need to mine. It takes a few seconds to do that. And I'm going to get a lot of soul sand out of this quarry. Right, so that's that side done. This time I won't spend so much time. What I'm going to do is if I'd remembered to bring some coal with me, which I haven't, I'd have used the mining turtle. Right, here we go. Four, isn't it? Ah, what happened there is it hit a um, hellfish. Just to make sure I can get out of his way, because there'll be more. That's probably good enough. Let's go up one. Ah, did you hear that then? There was a big explosion. Actually, let's just do this. What I can do now, if I'm not mistaken, is right click this, and I'm hoping that this will now charge up. Maybe not. It's supposed to work that way. So. The reason I've done that is I want to be precise as to where I'm going to sit. Yes, 
good. Let's do the same thing. Actually, let's do the same thing here. There it goes again. big lava pool. Okay, well I will also need some blood for this particular next visit. This could be dangerous. What we shall do is we'll put down some netherrack before I go trundling over here too far. Pressing holding shift down and uh, can I reach it? lot of um this time it's ash cloud isn't it ash blocks you have to watch these as well they can actually burn and as you can see i've got a huge amount of stuff here down there ah oh, look and we can already see the end of this so let's just go down one block here and shoot as straight as possible Simply right, simply left clicking these is all you need to do. Let's take the hammer. Right, and here's the other point. Let's put this other point down. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let's do this. Right, now, let's go to this one here. And I should have another landmark. I haven't got one out of there, so I'll put one down here. And also put a marker down here. Now we have the mine completely marked out, or the quarry completely marked out. You can see things are floating around here. Let's just go back to my... So this hammer is really fast. And I'm going to use this in a, in a short while to clear the middle of this uh, quarry out. Can even dig while you're flying. Oops. Now that's one of those little hellfish things. That's just just that sounds a bit not quite died yet. But they are actually quite easy to kill. Okay. Let's get him prepared for him. Little bat. They're quite difficult to shoot until they get near. Here he comes. That's it. Got him. Right. For now, this is enough, and I'm going to go back to the uh, back to the base. Should be around about that. No, there we are. And. Uh, get prepared for the next trip. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching, and until next time, bye for now.